Hey, Scarefest fans, it's Joe Lewis Bonehead Weekly with this week's review. And I'm not allowed to talk about Old Man Griffith, the soup, the pudding, all those things. I, I kind of need the Scarefest gig. I need the job. So, you know, after several threatening texts, I've been told to move off of talking about, you know, what he wears. And it's it rhymes with depends. Yeah, anyway, so I've been told to stop doing that. What I want to talk about is a movie called The Pale Blue Eye. It's on Netflix. I almost forgot what I was saying. It's on Netflix. It's not technically a horror film. This is it. It's about a detective, Augustus Landor, and he's invited to this. Basically, it is a school uh, for army kids, you know, like a cadet. And uh, he's there to solve some grisly murders with the help of um, a young cadet who eventually go on to become the world famous Edgar Allan Poe. And that's 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 kind of the gist of it. And it stars Christian Bale as a, as Augustus Landor and a guy named Harry Melling, who I think just kills playing Edgar Allan Poe in this. Also has Gillian Anderson, Robert Duvall, Timothy Spall. It's got a fantastic cast. And it's written and directed by a guy named Scott Cooper. And Scott Cooper, in my estimation, has never made a bad movie. Now, he's made a couple that I thought were slightly too depressing to watch but there's out of the furnace crazy heart who jeff bridges won an oscar for playing that role in crazy heart but this one comes on the heels of what i reviewed last year of a movie i really enjoyed that he made called antlers which is about a wendigo but it's also a wonderful murder mystery it's based on a book by lewis bayard that's about 20 years old and i've never read the book and basically what we find out is christian bale's characters augustus Something happened to his daughter. We don't necessarily know all the details, but we find out as the movie goes on. And these people cannot figure out why these folks, why these cadets are being murdered and they need some help. And apparently Augustus has a drinking problem. There's other issues as we find out that he's maybe not up to everything that he says he is. He also meets this young cadet who is Edgar Allan Poe. Now, this story never happened. Edgar Allan Poe did not help this fictional character at a military school find a murderer. But he did go, Edgar Allan Poe did go to a military school for a time. My friend James could talk a little bit more about this. It could happen. I I don't mind historical fiction. I know some people just can't stand it, but I actually like kind of historical fiction, taking some of these characters and meshing them up. It's the same thing about Tarantino. Oh, my God, he changed the ending of World War II. Oh, my God, he changed the ending of the Manson family. And what happened with Sharon Tate? Yeah, yeah, because it's a movie. (laughs) Here to entertain. The actual detective story was created by Edgar Allan Poe. I don't know if you all knew that or not. A lot of people, you know, give it to Sherlock Holmes and uh, Conan Doyle, but it wasn't. It's Murders in the Rue Morgue, and that was actually one of the first published detective stories. So it's fascinating that they not only knew that, but they took that and what could be. And anyway, if you're a literary geek, it's fascinating. So should you watch it? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It's not as good as Antlers or some of his other films. I, I'm giving it a lot of kindness. There's, it's beautifully shot. The third act doesn't quite work for me for a couple of reasons. And there's a reveal at the end that I don't want to talk too much about. That's, that's neat, but it's, it's a little kind of tacked on. And, but should you watch it? Absolutely. It's on Netflix. It is beautifully shot. It's, it's really well written and it's, it's acting is fantastic. I, I, it's a good movie. It's not a great movie. So you should totally watch the pale blue eye and you should watch for Brandon and make sure, I mean, old man Griffith and make sure he doesn't have any accidents. And if he does just call security or Wes, I think Wes is used to cleaning up after him. This has been Joe Lewis of Bonehead Weekly.